What's going on guys, this is Kazi. Welcome to another epic video, a little different than what I put out on this channel, but very, very important. 2020, as we know, was one of the craziest year that we've experienced in decades. So 2021, new year, new you. I wanted to share things that work for me and hopefully it will do the same for you. In this video, I'm gonna be sharing five changes that you can make in your life that will improve your career. In this free training, you're not only gonna learn everything about nodes, you will also learn to build the perfect node tree regardless of the project that you're working on. I will end the session with an extended Q&A. These questions came from you guys. Click the link in the description to sign up for this free training. And guys, if you're enjoying the content, please smash that like button, subscribe to my channel for more awesomeness. Make sure to follow me on Instagram and let's roll the intro. Guys, before we get started, there's a brand new thing that I want to start doing with my videos. And that is just one of my ways to kind of give back to the community and thank you guys. So I'm calling it a talent spotting and um, basically just a five second quick shout out to someone that I find interesting and is a hustler and is putting out banger content. So to start off this epic tradition, I'm going to give a shout out to Daniela Rodriguez. Her handle on Instagram is at Daniela J Roma. Go check her out. Seriously, putting out banger content day in and day out. And if you want to be a colorist or want to get inspired, that's the channel to follow. Let's jump into our video. Number one, small habits. Too many people make the mistake of doing too much all at once. What happens is that you get discouraged and you run out of gas and you go back to your old habits right? So to fix that, one, start small. Two, create a list of things that you must do every day. So whether it's working out in the morning, shower, coffee, and the list goes on, right? So prioritize that list from most important to least important and uh, check them off as you complete them throughout the day. So you will get that dopamine hit, that, that satisfactory feeling that you're doing things, you're making progress. That will also associate a positive aura around getting things done. Okay. And then once uh, you do this, I will say rinse and repeat for one week. So stick to just that. Don't add anything else to it. Do this for one week. See how it goes on day seven. And then if you've done it successfully for seven days and you checked every single thing off that list, then move on to adding three small tasks that are going to help you move closer to that goal, career goal that you have in mind. So for me, it is making IG and YouTube posts, right? And another one would be checking my emails and correspond to like, you know, new gigs or whatever is happening. Like if there's any issues or refunds or whatever I have to deal with, that's going to be my second task. And then third one is going to be responding to all of you guys, whether it's on YouTube, Instagram or any other social media platform. So these are three things that I added to my list after all the mandatory things that I had to do. And this is something that moves me closer to my goal. Number two, daily MITs. This will be your daily most important tasks. Uh, people that have full time jobs, this will be considered as like a side hustle. Take your long term goal, chop it up into micro level and then chip away at it day by day throughout the week. This is an aggressive approach to get the ball rolling. So to give you an idea for me, it's coming up with new YouTube video ideas, pre launch webinar ideas, FCM feedback video and the list goes on. Number three, higher purpose. And no, I'm not talking about just giving up all your worldly possessions and live on a mountain somewhere. That's not what I'm talking about. It could be providing comfortable living for your family so everybody in the family feels safe. It could be getting your act straight, stop playing video games, get the perfect job so you can actually find someone to fall in love with, get married, and then grow your family. It could be making your parents proud. It could be fighting poverty worldwide. For me, I want to focus on higher level stuff and less busy work so I can actually be physically and mentally present for my family. I help family members that are less fortunate and I donate to charities that are fighting less common diseases. Number four, staying positive. This one is a must and without it, there's absolutely no point in doing any of it at all. OK, our industry, you guys know, is filled with negative attitude and leg pullers. We have to take the initiative to change that 
and it all starts with you. For me, I work hard in seeing the best in people, even to a fault, and I wasn't like this before, but I work really hard to educate myself, and two, my wife is the constant reminder. She always calls me out on it anytime she sees me slipping back into those old habits. Two, I either ignore or block people spitting venom on the internet. I don't want this in my culture to corrode it from inside out because there is no win-win there. Even if I come up with an argument, now we're starting an argument. People are going to jump in and there's going to be a debate. It's just now we're focusing on the wrong things. So I don't need that in my culture. And three, I try to stay so busy that I don't have time to look at other people's flaws and be negative. Number five, don't quit. So say you wanna make an iPhone review video. Um, for research, of course, you're gonna go on YouTube, type it in, and you're gonna get the top results, right? These videos are basically creme de la creme. So the problem with this way of researching is that even before you ever started making your own content, you're looking at the top 1% of the 1% on YouTube. So, of course, you're gonna think you're not good enough, you shouldn't be doing this, this was a bad idea to begin with, and blah, blah, blah. For me, when I made my masterclass, I genuinely went off the grid. I locked myself in a room and thought of my experiences that I picked up throughout the way and asked myself a question, what were the things that I would have paid thousands of dollars for to learn that would have skyrocketed my career? And I then created something that was completely out of the ordinary and original, and I hope for the best. I would rather be a trendsetter and fail miserably than just follow what everybody else is doing.